you guys so I'm I'm back again with another video because Janny is behind the camera thank you baby um, since he did his cars and coffee video alone I'm doing my video alone um, I'm doing it fairly quick because the Sun is setting and it's only 530 and it's getting dark already but as you guys can probably tell by the title <laughs> Um, standing or parked behind me is my dream car. Don't get my toes. What the heck? This is my dream car. Um, except it's not a dream anymore because it's reality because it's mine. Um, yeah, don't get run over. So I'm just going to be talking a little bit about it and I guess a little mini car tour. We're looking around because I'm still not used to recording in public. But um, this is the 2010 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Um, in the two door color black me pers oh and hard top me personally I don't like the look of four door jeeps but that's just me I mean nothing against jeeps it's just that's just my personal views so if you follow me on the inside <laughs> this is how it looks on the inside um, it is previously owned obviously it's 2010 hold up hold up I'll get there I'll get there this was previously owned um, so the owners before me put these really nice red and black seat covers in them um, they're like reddish pinkish kind of but I really like them so I'm not gonna take them off obviously um, what else can I talk about I mean it's just like any standard older Jeep model So Johnny's just showing you guys the inside, the interior, and we're going to show you guys the back. It's very, this car is really for two people only, unless it's like two kids going in the back. Don't show the plate. But um, this is the back, the previous owners also put this tire cover on. Um, I wanted to take it off, but I like the look of it the sticker that they also put um, it says do not screw with my Jeep serious injuries or death can occur and it's really funny I want to take it off because it's just like a little bit ratchet but I mean it just it just add love, adds love to it um, how you open the video <laughs> why are these people looking how you open I said how you open the video how you open the trunk is you pretty much just press in there and it opens like that you have to open that first okay and then you have to open <laughs> these people are fighting and then you have to open this thing hello are you getting me yeah and then you have to open dude there's false look <laughs> sorry guys it's like a mess in this neighborhood as you guys can hear that and tiny? it's very awkward no it's not um look at your dog as you guys can see there's absolutely no space in here this is all the trash from my camry um that i did trade in because it was just a piece of garbage um like you can't fit anything in here at all um does this go forward what is this for what's that for <laughs> huh? yeah you pull pull back on the seats pull back on the seats yeah no. I'll pull forward on the seats. oh Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, oh that's cool. What? I've added more space to the seats. Hello. Uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This video is everywhere. I guess what I did is I just added more space to the seats. It went forward? No, it went back. Oh. This thing lifted up a little bit and it went back. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. So now the people who sit in the back can be more comfortable. I don't even know if this is a, an actual feature. If that's what it's actually for, I just messed up my car. But this is the back. <laughs> and yeah. Um, can you join me? Can you go to the passenger side and open the door? Hello again. So pretty much, um, since this is the hardtop version, if you do want to ride with the top off, you have to take it off at your house because 
unlike the soft top you can just put it back onto the to the thing um these you actually have to like move this on all three sides and you have to unscrew it from here i don't know if you guys can see because it's dark but you have to unscrew it there and then it just pops off and then the actual top the three parts it's like the driver the passenger and then the biggest part of it all um you actually have to screw it off with a certain type of screw or whatever um, and by the way i'm wearing this um jeep girl shirt that Janny got me at cars and coffee because i'm officially a jeep girl um and yes my car is completely stock just because i do have a one year um, warranty with the dealership that i got it from and i don't want to void that out or void the warranty or whatever so i'll probably start working on it after a year maybe because these things are really expensive aside from the car being very expensive to modify it is also very expensive but i mean i got a good deal on it, on it because it is 2010 and it's eight years later you know we're in 2018 so yeah um inside since Janie's already there he can just show you guys this cool thing that i found um you can actually this is the glove box obviously by the way there's no space in here but if you do have the doors off you can just lock it oh the other way oh apparently you can do that to every car so i didn't know you can take off the doors of every car but and then that also does it here. No, every car has a key for the compartment. <laughs> Mustangs, focuses, anything. Does it have one here too? The trucks only have it. Oh, okay. You can take the doors off trucks or they just have it to have it? I'm talking about locks. Yeah. They well, just have it to have it? They just have it to have okay. it. Okay. Well... Because now glove compartments are for guns. Oh, so. glove compartments are for guns. But there's no guns in this household. Also, today is November 5th. Hopefully, this will be going up today. Um, so, just remember to vote tomorrow, you guys. You know, gun safety is important for Florida in its future. And if you're not in Florida and you're watching this, thank you for supporting us. And I don't know if you guys can hear me anymore. I'm just, like, chittering. I'm just going on and on. But, um... That's pretty much all I have to show you guys about my car. Um, I'm in love with this car, and I'm not doing this to brag in any way, shape, or form. Um, but this isn't mommy's and daddy's gift to me. This is my gift to myself. Um, okay, my mom is a co-signer, but I bought it by myself. So. I bought that car for myself. Which we'll be, we'll be showing you guys in the next video. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys... Oh, we can start right now, guys. Um, besides <laughs> no, her not. car. We're not. Oh. <laughs> we're not. Oh, we're oh. doing a whole other video because this video is going to be way too long if we do It's only eight minutes right now, okay, baby. Okay, and it's going to stay at 10 we minutes. We can do a 16 minute video. Hello. Hey. What you guys want to see a 16 minute video? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll s next video, you'll see Janny's brand new car that he did all by himself with no cosign or anything. Na na na. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.